Hi, I'm Lynn from Enlightened Body Work and this is Let's Up Our Game. Somebody asked me the other day, you know, I want to up my game, but I really don't know where to start. Where do I start? You start by asking yourself one question. And the question is this, what do I want? Now I realize that sometimes this can be a difficult question to answer. And there was a time in my life when it was a difficult question for me to answer. I had been working at a job uh, for like 10 years managing other people's businesses and I hated it and I didn't know why because according to my conditioning I was being a responsible adult, I was adulting, but there I was, you know, I was good at my job, but I did not, I wasn't happy and so I needed to figure out why? Now, as a miracle would have it, someone gave me a cassette tape called Prosperity Plus. And this tape was by Edwin Gaines, and it was her journey from where I was, stuck in Nowheresville, to um, a life that she loved of her own creation. And I thought, yeah, I want that. A life of my own creation. But truly, I didn't know where to start. I didn't know where to start because my conditioning said you have to get a responsible job and you have to do, you have to learn how to type and you have to learn how to file and you have to learn how to spell and you have to learn how to do all of these really responsible things. Good, okay, yeah. And, um, and that's it. And what was modeled for me by my dad was, well, you go to a job that you hate and you come home and you plop yourself in front of the TV and you medicate yourself until you fall asleep. And that's kind of where I was at that time. It was awful. I was medicating myself with pizza and ice cream. <laughs> and Fatal Five stuff. And I hardly had any energy at the ripe old age of 32 years old. And, um, you know, my life sucked. It was hard. I had two kids. I was divorced. I had a mortgage. I had a car payment. I had a job that paid shit for bucks. But I didn't know what else to do. So this amazing woman, Edwin Gaines, who was my first prosperity teacher, said, Ask yourself what it is you love to do so much, you would do it whether they paid you or not. Paid me or not, are you out of your mind? I got two kids and a mortgage and a car payment and insurance. Are you out of your mind, paid me or not? But then she said on this little cassette tape, your best thinking got you here. What if you try on someone else's thinking and see what happens? And I'm like, okay, I'll do that. So I started to give this question, what would you do whether they paid you or not? some really serious thought. I had never given it any thought because my training said, you do what you gotta do and that's it, buddy. That's all you get. Well, all right, so let me think about it. What do I love doing so much I would do it whether they paid me or not? Hmm. So I remembered a time when I was about 24 years old and my mom and I got this uh, day of stuff at a salon somewhere. And um, hair, makeup, massage, and facial. I never really liked that kind of stuff. I didn't really like people taking care of me. I never really experienced it before. So it was kind of uncomfortable, but you know, we went. And one of the things I got was a massage, and the massage was a half hour on a table behind a curtain, like a dressing room with fluorescent lights, and it was creepy, and it was weird, 
and it was just, I didn't like it. I thought, I'll probably never do this again. <laughs> but the other thing was a facial. I'd never had a facial, you know, but I thought, well, I'm here, so may as well just go do it. So she, the, the woman doing the facial brought me into this really nice, quiet, dimly lit room and she had me lie down on the uh, facial chair and she wrapped me up in this little blanket and then she touched my face with so much love and care that I actually wept. I was very uncomfortable because no one had ever touched me like that in my life. And then I got mad. Why has no one ever touched me like this in my life and now a perfect stranger is touching me with more love and care than my family or my husband ever has? What is wrong with these people? What is wrong with this? But then I thought, just shut up. <laughs> and relax and go with it. So I did. That was a profound experience for me, being touched with so much love and care that I actually wept. And so fast forward to uh, I'm 32 years old and trying to figure out what to do with my life. Um, I knew that facials for me was that was just a little bit too light and superficial and so I thought well maybe maybe I'll explore this massage thing now at the same time you know when you hate your job and it's time to get out of there what happens is generally your body starts hurting and you can't stand even being in your body because you're in the wrong place so that was happening to me. I had headaches, my neck hurt, my back hurt, my hips hurt, my legs hurt, my arms hurt. Everything hurt. I'm 32 years old and it's so much pain I can hardly function. Not good. I went to a chiropractor that I knew and she recommended that I get a series of six massages. So that's what I did. And I'm not going to say that the massages changed my life, but what I will say is this. I talked to the massage therapist um, about, can you really make a living doing this? And he's like, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, well, maybe I'll do that. I won't do it like the salon where it's, you know, behind a curtain and rush, rush in 30 minutes and turn over and, you know, get out. That was so creepy. But what if I did it like that facialist did where it was, where it was the most respectful, loving, caring and nurturing experience of your life? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that is worth doing. That is worth doing. So that's the direction I went in. And as I went in that direction, all doors opened. It was amazing. I had zero money, zero money. But when I started moving in that direction, like this guy I was dating said, oh, you wanna do massage for a living? Oh, that sounds cool. Here, boom, drop the tuition literally into my lap. The man I divorced, who never did anything for me in his life, said, hey, my parents are coming out. Um, can I have the kids for this period of time, which was exactly the period of time I would be away at massage school. It was almost like someone was looking out for me and opening the doors because I was moving in the direction that I was supposed to go rather than holding on to something that I wasn't supposed to be. So long story short, if you want the long version, you have to buy the book. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. Okay, so long story short, I went to massage school. I got a job on the weekends because, you know, I was afraid to let go of my crappy job that I had that I hated and didn't know any better. 
So I got this job on the weekends and I made more money on the weekend than I did all week long at my shitty job. And so I quit that shitty job and went full time into massage. And let me just say, I have not worked a day since because my work is so fulfilling and so much fun and so creative and so on purpose on my this is my purpose to 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 give people that experience of respect and love and nurturing that I got that day from that lady who gave a facial she had no idea she was changing my life or maybe she did I don't know I know I didn't have the words to say it at the time but that's what happened so bottom line if you give this question some thought what do I want to do with my life? Because you have between now and death <laughs> to figure that out. And what if you figure out sooner than later and you get to live the rest of your life having a blast? I hope you'll think about this. I hope you'll ask yourself that question and I hope you find an answer. Because doing the work that's a labor of love it's like being on vacation every day. It's so fun. It's so fulfilling. It gives your life meaning and purpose. And you never have to work a day in your life again. You'll never say, oh God, I have to go to work. You'll say, oh God, I get to go to work. And that, my friends, is a day worth looking forward to. That, my friends, is a day worth planning for. That is a work worth doing. I say, come on, baby, let's up our game. I'm Lynn from Enlightened Body Work. Have a wonderful day.